Let's see what else we got. Oh, this one's crazy, you guys. Roman fucking Atwood. When's the last time you heard that name? Smile more. Remember that? <laughs> I used to have a problem with this guy because he he literally invented pranks in the hood. He is Mr. Pranks in the Hood. And I thought it was so interesting how he pivoted from like hardcore racist. Like it's Joey Salad's bad where in the comments it's just all super racist. Like, of course, black people act like that. I didn't know that was his origin. Oh, he's the king of that shit, dude. Huh. Like, look up um, siphoning gas from oh. people's cars pranks. In the hood. In the hood. <laughs> you know where it's dangerous and scary. Do you remember that dog shit prank movie he made with Vitaly? They did a lot together. What did they do? They made a, like a, a full uh, movie. It was just like a Jack. Oh, yeah. Prank. It was terrible. Wait, it was even in the theaters. Yeah. But it was a, a colossal flop, of course. It was it was really bad. Here, um, <laughs> wait, it's still up on his channel. Holy fuck! I would thought he would have erased this in embarrassment. Yo, it's still up. Fifty-five million views. So stealing people's gas break. I'm pretty sure he must have changed it because I'm pretty sure it used to be in the hood. But anyway, here, take a look. I see one in the description. Explosive yeah, farts in the hood. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's dangerous. You don't want to do that. No. People's gas out of their car. But really, it's just water. <laughs> oh. oh. By the way, that is such an um, insane thing to do to someone. Is it? Are we getting claimed? Not necessarily claimed, but he's about to uh, get into a pretty physical altercation. I don't know if it's... Well, anyway, he, he basically uh, pretends to steal people's gas, which is objectively a crazy thing to do. And then... <laughs> Uh, pe some people are just angry, some people get violent, and I mean, there's a good chance some of this is even fake, I don't know. Which makes it worse. Which does, like, yeah. yeah. Doesn't I mean, make it better. No, hell no. <laughs> yeah. Because he's building, like, yeah, he's making them people look bad. Like yeah. Joey Salas, when he, when, you, when he faked it, it's like... Right. So, so much worse. <laughs> it's like 10 times worse. Jesus. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the comments are wild. But anyway, I always thought it was so interesting that he pivoted from this to smile more family vlogs Wait, i was like oh my out? god well there was a transition phase where it was like flashing children in public prank oh my you're right i forgot about that one that was a nice transition Sorry, of family what? content yes flashing kids Damn. at the park prank he's he's wearing clothing but uh -huh. what he does is he goes up to kids and does it like he's flashing them and then the parents come up in a panic and he's like, no, psych, I just, I'm wearing clothes. No, he's wearing a shirt that says, don't do drugs. Bro, it's That's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's Christ. so nuts. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but that's still a pretty scary thing to run up to a kid and, like, violently open your robe. <laughs> that's crazy. It makes, like, really weird noises, too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking insane. <laughs> So he pivoted from this to a family smile more. Smile more? Oh, fuck. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's just my background with uh, Roman Atwood. <coughs> but he's doing a podcast now. Of course. What I love this. What do we need? Another white guy with a podcast? I wouldn't know anything about that. I've been doing it long enough. I'm not. You do not include me. We've been here for years before mm -hmm. the white dude in the podcast meme existed. And frankly, is that true? I think we started so. this in like 2017. I, I feel like we were the first YouTube podcast, dude, or one of the specifically first. like a big YouTube channel starting a podcast. Yeah, you may have. What? Go ahead, AB. Definitely. Yes. Everyone, after you guys did it, everyone tried to do it. And Thank still you. to this day, they have not succeeded. I feel like this is so much more I than, love Jay Shetty. Shetty. More than a podcast. Yeah, I mean, Jay Shetty is I, I agree. Over the years, it's certainly it certainly evolved to mo something more, but... You guys it's definitely like made a template show. of it. Oh. Say what? <laughs> I said you guys definitely made a template of oh, it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 I mean, at the time when we made it, I was very unsure. It was a big risk. I remember, like, I don't know if anyone wants to watch a fucking podcast. But mm -hmm. There it is. And here we are. So anyway, yada yada. Now Roman Atwood's uh, talking about how his dad may kill. He's he 
what seems like he's accusing his dad on his podcast of murdering his mom. Whoa. And I'm reading between the lines a little bit, but you watch this and tell me what you're getting out of this. This is truly bizarre stuff. So oh, no, is that, unbelievable. Did we claim, uh, check this one? Yeah, there was no claim. Oh, nice. Thank you, Zach. Strange. Um, like, it, it doesn't add up in my head. Um, you know, she, she fell off a scooter. Not only did she pass away when she fell, but she had a closed casket. And that just, to me, just doesn't add up. How, how do you fall that hard? I think the angels threw her down and made sure she was not coming back. Or That's crap. not what angels do, man. When, since when do what angels body slam and kill people? I'm telling you, this is there's something really fucked up going on here. What? Down and made sure she was not coming back. Or <laughs> I mean, I've thought about this a thousand times. She might have passed out on the scooter. No, it didn't really make a lot of. I sense. I don't know how that high part. you need to fall to have a closed casket, but off a scooter just doesn't seem high enough. A scooter yeah, she like did a, have a terrible set of lungs. I, like a a I, moped, can like you, a can like we a get Vespa details? scooter. I, I, let's get details. I'm depends sure. like a if it's like a Vespa, that kind of scooter. No, I think he's talking about like a mobility, mobility. scooter. Yeah. Oh, mobility the the scooter. Yeah, I was picturing a bird scooter, but I knew in the timeline it didn't make sense. Like, of course, you so can die on a moped. I think. Yeah. She okay. was on a gat, like a not even a Gatsby, probably something even less. So. She was riding around with uh, his nephews on some little scooters. She fell off hers and hit her head. Oh, that's oh, so horrible. So we're talking like a razor scooter. Oh. Or that's what that sounds like. Riding around with her nephews. Yeah. Oh, that's it's such a freak accident. Tragedy. Yeah. But, but this, and I don't understand Romans. Well, here, let's, let's watch. I mean, it's fucking crazy. I don't know how that high part. you need to fall to have a closed casket, but off a scooter just doesn't seem high enough. Mm -hmm. Now, she did have a terrible set of lungs. I don't know whether she would have made it through, but anyhow, um, she had, well, I think she I, had conquered uh, smoking. Yes, she and, did. And, but it had taken a toll on her. She was hacking for the rest of her life. Yeah, it mm -hmm. took a toll on her. Also, not... the the other weird thing was the Christmas before, she had a cough for like six months or something. Yeah. And I remember Kurt coming to me. He's like, make sure, you know, you and Jess, whatever, like you guys really take care of Sue this Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so that was her last Christmas. It's like you already knew. Yeah. Yeah, I... Things yeah. just don't add up properly to me. There's too many weird... It's almost like you can see behind the scenes too well. There's too <laughs> many weird things that had to happen for her to pass the way she did. And, um... What, so, like, what are you getting at? Yeah. And so that's the dad. That's the dad. Right, that he's talking to. Later in the interview, the dad mentions these visions he had while the mother was still alive. And he said that in one of them, he was shown another woman, not Sue, who he believed he was supposed to love. He then added that he is currently remarried to this woman who was in that vision. He got married to this woman only two years after Sue died. What the Jeez. fuck is going so, on? <laughs> Murderer. I watched the full thing for some more context. I mean, it's yeah. definitely weird either way, but he was talking about they watched a movie together as a family, and at the end of the movie, the mother dies, and he's just talking about these weird coincidences leading up to it. So he's saying more like weird. Cosmic? Like, yeah, yeah, cosmic type. More weird. like the angels body slammed his fucking mom's <laughs> face into the curb. Like a, yeah. yeah, like a cosmic yeah. you know, as they do. slam. Yeah, the angel of death visited her. <laughs> what the? Hold on, hold on. I gotta hear that again. Fell. But she had a closed casket. By the way, you're her son. Ask someone, you know, <laughs> yeah. who put right. the funeral together. <laughs> Ask someone. Like, you should be able to figure out why is the casket closed. Who who managed the funeral, who made that dude? that decision, yeah. You're the dude probably with, like, the money in the family. I'd imagine you're paying for it. Also, isn't, yeah. like, deciding to have a wake is, like, that's a decision to see your dead family or friend. To do it, it to open? To be open, yeah. Open casket is not usual, is it? Um, it, I've been to both. I think it both depends. Yeah. 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 yeah, he has like one brother, and then it's the father and him. It had to be him yeah. or his wife that managed that right, funeral. Right, exactly. And why, why is he being like, yo, who decided to do a closed casket? Like, hmm. I don't know, man. Ask yourself. Shit. Dude, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
there's a lot of weird shit in the those in Roman Atwood's podcast. I think if someone just combed through all those podcasts, they'd find some weird shit because he like talks about hitting his kids. Yeah, that's what that, I brought. They up got last busted time. for that recently, where they were talking about how that you got to people need to start beating their kids again. Can you find yeah. that? That's what what I brought up like a couple months ago, but I didn't really have anything prepared. But there's a lot of weird shit huh. from those. You know what I'm seeing, Ethan? There, yeah. Did, did you notice any glaze on that family? Mm, he's not glazed. Look at him. He's troubled. Well, I'm reading that they are Mormon. Oh, dude. I knew they were religious because he said an angel body slammed her fucking face. Yeah. At <laughs> least according to his Wikipedia page, it says he's a member of the church of <laughs> Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which is the Mormon church. Oh, my God, man. They're very religious. The I Mormons see. are having a hard year. Hard year to be a Mormon. Oh, here. Here's an article. I am Mormon, actually. Roman Atwood says on popular podcast with Logan Paul. There you go. Let me hear the dad again talk about this. And that just, to me, just doesn't add up. How? He looks guilty. Look at his face. <laughs> I like, feel like the he's TikTok like, am I being called out right now? Pushing you towards a he, certain conclusion here. Look at him. How, how do you fall that hard? Can you? I, I'm sorry. We need to pull that. That's like another great reaction podcast clip. How he just sits there. Um, Ian, we got to pull this part here. How, how do you fall that hard? Just this. I think the angels threw her down and made sure she was not coming back. What or, fucking I mean, I angels would do that? That is. And he even did the gesture. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Who would say such a thing? <laughs> Holy crap. That's like unhinged, man. Angels threw her down and made sure she was not coming back. Or, <laughs> wow. That's a crazy soundbite, too. <laughs> the angels, they, they knew she was not coming back. Boom! <laughs> Spike that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the angels made sure her head be splat on the ground. Boy. Boom! <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> God, six points. Holy fuck, man. Uh, so they're Mormon, huh? According to, according to him in, a, in an interview. Is there something about beating your kids that's Mormon? Uh, well, probably not specifically Mormon, but I mean, that's definitely kind of like an old, an an old, old school kind conservative of an old timey thing. thing. It's kind know? of an old timey thing. Did you find that clip? I didn't. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm sure we watched that. I'm seeing yeah, a bunch of like said, throwing my son off the balcony, blowing up my kid prank. Those I remember yeah. watching. I, I, those ones are horrific too. Send those. We'll watch them as we look. Yeah, we definitely looked at them, but it's worth watching again. Let's go down the Atwood pipeline. From the Shetty pipeline to the Atwood pipeline. Mm. Exploring a lot of pipes. Maybe I, some people are not motivated by growth. <laughs> growth. I'm still so fascinated by where that accent comes from. Uh, <laughs> growth. Um, this, and again, he was a huge deal to those of you who weren't around then. Eight years ago, 50 million views. Uh, this guy was like top prankster. And when pranksters were getting massive numbers. Yeah. Pranksters are like the Minecrafters of yesteryear or something. Or mm -hmm. Just the mainstream content. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, this one was nuts. I remember when he dropped this. And even for hey you... Hey guys, today my girlfriend my believes prank. that our oh, yeah. three-year-old son and I are looking at a used four-wheeler. She's gonna come pick it's it up in our truck. Two minutes. What she doesn't know is that it's fully remote control. Are you ready? So, so the prank premise is he's gonna goof his wife into thinking his son died. <laughs> Not just died. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> blew up. <laughs> That's so. Here it is. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hey, wait, wait. I would never, ever, Before. ever, ever do that to Ela. That's crazy. Why not? It's because you're not funny. Oh, no. Here, like that. But even being open to that idea, like, gee whiz, man. It just says I got it. Wait for me. And again, you uh, probably not real. That's it. You yeah, you question the authenticity of the, the girlfriend. Definitely yeah. in on this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here you go. 
But a million likes, almost no oh God, downvotes. So People were just on board for anything back then. And that's the whole reason I started making YouTube videos. Because I was watching all these pranks and I was losing my mind. That nobody was calling them out for... Yeah. Look at this shit. Straight into a ramp. Babe, stop! Don't! Hey! Honey! Oh my god. Oh my god. Babe, stop! No! It's not funny. I know. That is not funny. It's... It's kind of funny. No. It's... it's oh, don't. I'm it, sorry. You don't touch me. I'm done. I'm done, honey. I'm, I can't do Kane it. There's Kane right there. I cannot do it. There's Kane. Um, I think she's acting, probably, Still love but... me, right? But, like, again... That's really not funny. That's like spousal abuse, dude. I'm pretty sure. But this is YouTube fucking eight years ago. It was just crazy back then, man. <laughs> I, I was looking at YouTube and there was all these guys. Vitaly, yeah. So Flo, Mo and E.T., fucking Roman the Atwood. Codes. They were dominating YouTube and nobody was saying yeah. anything about them. No E.T. Prank let's, invasion. Let's not lump them. Let's not lump them in with all this. Well, at the no time, they were doing some wild shit. Yeah. You know? They're geniuses in their own right. I We've grown to have <laughs> admire them in different ways. <laughs> we've, we've, you know, got new perspectives on them. Yeah. But holy tamales, man. So I guess in a sense, I do owe my whole uh, career today to... These pranksters, in a way, probably right. Shout out Roman Allen. Mm. Um, it's a prank, bro. <laughs> so that's that. We didn't find the beating the kids one, huh? I love Santa. I did. Uh, yeah, you yeah. did. Oh, with his dad too. Is it from the same podcast? Oh, that's a that's an action packed podcast. I could, yeah. I could get you a couple loops, but you would always catch me. You had it easy though. My father used a belt on me. Yeah. Now you go to jail for that. Really? <laughs> nah, I but he be did. In jail? Brit's like, I'm going to jail. Yeah, he did. <laughs> um, uh, excuse me. Why? I uh, one time we had our. Uh, my grandmother living at the house and all of us kids were just torturing her and making fun of her and she's pretty much paraplegic kind of jesus man <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking vicious bro you were you were goofing on your paraplegic grandma <laughs> what the fuck this whole podcast is gnarly <laughs> uh. God. And my mom said, when your dad gets home, you're going to get it. So all day us kids were running around and uh, making fun of, you know, oh yeah, oh yeah. But when he got home, he beat us all <laughs> with a belt. <laughs> Hell yeah. And we really had it coming, too. Oh, such so, different times. Well, now it's yeah. spare the hand, spoil the child, not, you know. I feel like we're Spare the rod, I, I, I spoil feel like the child. A, that's a big lie. So the, how you get fucked up dysfunctional of kids that well, tease a paraplegic grandma is by beating them. Yep. There you go. They go, it's funny. They go, I'll tell you what, man, I don't know what to do but beat these kids. Yeah! Every time I beat them, they do more fucked up shit. My boy took a shit in Nanny's bed. <laughs> a dream She's a paraplegic. She lied in it all night. Grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming Black in pool. society. Yeah. <laughs> like that, everything's so like sensitive it's discipline that makes you great it really is you watch all these greats they've all been disciplined usually tortured and they become <laughs> great who's what greats is he talking about i'd like to know true they so our kids are going to be great <laughs> oh. stop it's not funny what the fuck you're stop. also combine beating your kids with having a family vlog dude it's fucked up when the camera goes off they we're like what they're insinuating that they beat them, which is fucked up. They're working kids and you beat them. That's a fucking sounds. There's really a word bad. for that. It's like it's like slave slavery. It does, I don't yeah, know. It's it crazy. Not a nice thing. Certainly not painting a nice picture. No. <laughs> make our kids great again. You, you have to lose everything to become great. No, you don't have this to. This man just said, "Make our kids great again." <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Be beaten, but the discipline is important.
Yeah, you're not yeah. great till you lose everything, and then yeah, you seem like you got. I don't know anything about this guy, but this guy is giving like total catastrophe of a life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that. That's that's my. Well, he made himself great. You know, he said, "You're not great until you lose everything." And you ain't took great. Care of his wife. You ain't great till one way or another angel slam your wife's well, face into wife. the concrete, boy. Yeah. He's independently wealthy, too, from... He is? From watching the... I've watched all the vlogs, and I think he owns a factory or something. Wait, you've watched all these? No, or the vlogs back in the days. Oh, the vlogs. I all of them, yeah. So I, you were a fan of his. A big fan, yeah. How old were you then? You were young. Yeah, definitely oh, 17, wow. 16, 15. Wow, that interesting. Age, yeah. So his dad is rich. Wealthy. I don't know how rich she is. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Realize that, hey, I can rise above, I can get higher than the, yeah. where I'm at. And so, then if you don't, well, that's it. So, um, what do I, you want to talk about? I, I want to. This is, this is why people say we don't need another white guy with a podcast thing. It's like, this guy shouldn't be, this guy should not be in front of a microphone for any reason. Realize that, hey, like even can he, he, you can even feel that he knows that as well. Like I can get higher than the, yeah. where I'm at. The, and so, then if you don't, well, that's it. So um, what I, do you want to talk about? I want to, I want to, I want to bring up that we. It took many years on my first YouTube channel mm. to hit a hundred thousand. All right, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, <sighs> why were we talking about Roman Antwood again? Just. <laughs> The, I'm sorry, the meme that Cam said. Yeah, here's a replay of <laughs> Roman's uh, <laughs> mother taking a spill on the... Oh, no. I mean, Is it's that tragic, the but oh, no. that's literally what he described, man. <laughs> that doesn't seem like something an angel would do. Mm -mm. I thought they are supposed to protect us. No, this is a biblically Is that the hawk, angel? dude? <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't get why... Why an angel would do this, something like that, man. But there it is. <laughs> so that's that's uh, the Atwood. Atta boy, Atwood. Atta wood.